looks like you've been riding there pretty good. I uh, just a little foot sore. Nothing a few days rest won't heal up. I, uh, like to trade you for anything I can ride. Uh, Even. Well, she's older than she looks. Tell you what I'll do. I can let you have that bay. Oh, he's kind of smooth mouth, but he can carry you. That's the deal. We'll go get it, Jim. Oh, hold on. I got to have a bill to sale for. Been a lot of horse stealing going on around here. I got to be able to prove I come by illegal. I don't have the papers with me. Well, I'll tell you what we do. You make out a new one up the house. Trade horses, mister. bunch of men when we get through well, we sure could use them oh obi dick sit down <clears throat> you're all through with the uh, gilliam affair yes it comes up for trial next week yeah. no reason you have to stay here no i'm clear good how about you dick anything on the fire no sir good i want you both to go to round rock can i ask why what do you know about sam bass right now there's about a five thousand dollar reward on his head what else not much how about you, Hobie? He's out of Mitchell, Indiana, Texas, North Dakota. He's a gunman, used to be a deputy sheriff, now he heads up his own gang. He likes trains and banks, and we haven't been able to lay a hand on him. That's just about it. He made another score since the last report. Hit a train outside of Big Springs. Took $80,000. Well, I'll keep him quiet for a while. Not Sam Bass. You remember Jim Murphy? Sure. Who's Jim Murphy? He rides with Bass. We had him in here for questioning about uh, four months ago, wasn't it? Three. We didn't have anything to hold him on, but he didn't know it then. I made a deal with him. Told him that if he'd rejoin the Bass gang, we'd let him go. You knew he was going to go back anyway? I don't get the point. From what I hear of Sam Bass, he's already got too many guns. Well, that's true, but that wasn't all there was to the deal. He was supposed to let us know what Bass's plans were. Where he's going to hit next. It's a long chance, but it paid off. Bass pistol with the man, 50 miles north of Round Rock. Murphy wrote this note, and the local sheriff sent it on. Captain Reynolds, we're on the way to rob the bank at Round Rock. Your friend figures to do it on the 18th. And that'd make it in two days. Well, if we could use a few lessons in spelling. He got the idea across. Let's hear. Take a look at this. No. Here's Round Rock. Yeah. Well, that's a two-day ride. Just about, yeah. You start right now, you ought to be there in time to meet Bass as he rides in. Well, Bass is not going to come easy. How much help do we get? You two are it. The local sheriff ought to help some, but if I can spare any men, I'll send them along. Well, if I turn out, we don't need them. We can always hope. Uh, you two better get started. You're going to get there in time? Yeah, yeah. As Captain Reynolds finished with the instructions, all three men were thinking the same thing. It didn't have to be said. What if Sam Bass knew they were coming? 
What if the note was merely the bait for a trap set by Murphy and Bass? There was only one way to find out. The answer lay in Round Rock, two days to the south. Gilman and Dick Wade arrived in Round Rock shortly after 8 o'clock on Thursday, August the 18th. The sleepy little cow town was just getting ready for the new day. Deputy, is something I can do for you? Uh, do you know when he'll be back? Not for a couple of days. He had to go out of town. You just tell me what your trouble is. I talk for him. Well, I'm Hobie Gilman from Austin, and this is Dick Wade. Grimes, Perry Grimes. How come the Rangers interested in Round Rock? Well, we got word that Sam Bass and his gang are going to hold up your bank this morning. On a level? We rode two days to be here. Does that sound like a joke? Did you get word to the sheriff? There isn't much time. No need to bother him. Thanks for the information. We'll take care of it. Well, we kind of figured on uh, taking care of it ourselves. The uh, state of Texas wants bass, and they sent us for it. Maybe so. This is Round Rock, and I'm the law right now. We don't like the idea of rangers poking in our business. Well, look, Grimes, we're going to need your help, but it's our job, and we don't want anything to get in the way. Then maybe you better wait at the hotel. As soon as Bass is in jail, I'll send you word. You mean you won't work with us? You're going to stand behind me, Shaw. But I'm going to give the orders. Yeah, well, uh, we'll uh, check over the bank. Yeah, you do that. I'll sit here and figure out how I'm going to take him. your shop. For what? My name is Gilman, and uh, this is Dick Wade. Well, Texas Rangers, eh? Mm -hmm. That's right. What do you want to use my place for? Well, we'd like to keep an eye on the bank across the street. I got money in there. Something's wrong? Well, we think it might be held up this morning. My bank? Well, that's what we hear. You excuse me, then. I got to get my money out. Now, now, wait a minute. Hold on. We'll take care of it if you just let us use your shop. Sure, you protect my money. You can use it. All right, thank you. I don't think there'll be any shooting over here, but uh, it'll be safe if you stay out of the way. I got a gun. You want me to help? Well, we'll let you know, all right? Sure. If you want me to help, just say the word. Or just say the word. Thank you. Hey, who's going to hold the bank up? Sam Bass. <laughs> Sam Bass? That's not good. He's a bad man. That's what we've heard. He's got a lot of guns with him. It only takes one. I'm going to check across the street. You want to wait here? Sure. I think I'll take a haircut while I'm waiting. Might as well look pretty. If I'm going to die. Oh, oh, wait a minute. And uh, keep the chair facing the street. Uh, si, sí, senor. That's Sam Bass robbing my bank. 
And that's robbing my bank. I know. explain the situation to the cashier and ask that Ranger Dick Wade be allowed to remain in the bank. At first, the man refused. But when Gilman offered to accept complete responsibility, the agreement was made. She works in the bank. Go. All right. Cashier's a junkie, the jackrabbit, but he says we can put a man in the back. Who draws it? Oh, it don't make any difference. You got a choice? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll take the bank. You wouldn't have me waste a new haircut. Your beauty will have to wait. You get on it with the bank. Find a place in the back where you can keep out of sight and still keep your eye on things. All right. Today, shoot him. Keep it on the street. All right. What about Grimes? Mm. I'll check with him later. Tell him a plan. A lot of good he's going to be. Yeah. Are you talking about a deputy? That's right. A real cheese at. That's what he is. He thinks he's a big man with the ladies. Comes over here and he wants Bayram on his head. All the time, Bayram. No haircut, just a smile. A real cheese at. Well, you heard it. Now, don't turn your back on him. All right. Hey, Ranger. Yeah. Haircut. I'll be back for the rest of it as soon as this is over. Thank you. He's a nice fella. He had to do something about his hair, though. He's going to be bald if he doesn't. Hmm? I can tell. Bald. like they own the town. In about 20 minutes, they might.
What's your name, mister? Why, Sheriff? Something wrong? You're carrying a gun. That's against the law in this town. Well, now, I didn't know that. We just got in this morning. Then hand it over, Mr. Bass. Looks like you got me cold. Come on, give me the gun, Mr. Bass. The rest of you just stand still. Now, come on, give me the gun. You sure got us. Yeah, and I got me that 4,000, too. Yes, sir, old Sam Bass captured by the sheriff of Round Rock. I ain't even the sheriff. I'm just a deputy. Maybe next election. When people this town find out you caught Sam Bass. <laughs> Anything could happen. But come on, give me the gun. trouble. Sam? Yeah. Uh. Well, 
happened to Jackson? He run out on you? No. He wanted to stay. I made him leave. But he wanted to stay. He really did. Yeah, all gone now. Jackson, Barnes, Underwood, Barry. All gone. They sure had us some time, though. They sure did. What happened to the money you got from the train robbery? Gone, too. All but this. Twenty dollars. That seemed hardly worth it. Just don't figure. Seven robberies, we call. Seven. I wind up with a twenty dollar gold piece. Forty-four in the stomach. <laughs> Pretty bad pay. Don't figure. It sure don't figure. I got the water. In 10 minutes, two Texas Rangers had put an end to a reign of terror that had lasted over two years.